Hi everybody, so it is Saturday night. Welcome to a new week of Meals on the Seesaw. I've been looking forward to this one all afternoon. So we're having um, kind of nacho burgers with crispy potatoes. So what I've done, this was a Gusto recipe inspiration. So I had the recipe card from a Gusto box and then I've recreated it with my own ingredients. So I took a package of mints and I combined it with um, some chipotle paste, which you can find in the Mexican kind of food section at most larger supermarkets. Just put a, I put a couple of tablespoons in because I had a 750 gram pack of mints, but if you're using 500 gram, you could draw that back a bit, or if you don't like things too spicy, you could draw it back a bit. Just combined that with a little bit of salt and pepper um, with the mints, nothing else. I split ours, as I said, it was 750 gram pack, so I split it into six burgers shaped them, popped them on a baking tray in a 200 degree oven for about 20 minutes, um, just until the burgers are cooked through. Potatoes are just some sliced um, potatoes with skin on. I've popped them in the active fryer with some of the chip seasoning and a little bit of oil just to crisp them up. And then this is my favorite part of this. This is an nacho cheese sauce. All I've done is made a basic little white sauce with two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour and 250 mils of milk. And then when it had thickened into kind of sauce texture, I took it off and added in, it was probably about 80 grams or so, perhaps a bit more than that, of grated red Leicester cheese, which I've used to give it the nice orangey color. And then some chopped jalapenos. Now you could use chopped fresh green chili, um, but I've just used the jarred jalapenos and chopped those all up. If I was in the States, I would have used one of the little cans of, um, chopped chilies I would have used some from that so it's just some chopped chilies and essentially we're going to build our burgers with some of this slathered on the top instead of like mayo or ketchup or whatever and it also has the cheesiness so you don't need to add cheese to your burger and we've got brioche buns to have them with to have them on and I just toasted the bases of the brioche essentially I just split them and put them this side down into a dry skillet just to toast them to hold in the juices from the burger a little better and then I've got a little bit of salsa there which I might put on my burger or I might just have it on the side and the nacho sauce I'm just going to have some more of that on the side to dip the potatoes in so looking forward to this for our Saturday night dinner and a movie nacho we're having turkey burgers but you could use beef mince for this or even pork mince really um, whatever you prefer in your family so yeah it's burger night Hi everybody, so it is Sunday evening, we've had a very busy day and we're now sitting down to enjoy roast gammon dinner. So this morning Caleb went and did his first park run for a very long time. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen the post about that. How did you get on? Um, good. Was it fun? Yeah. And where did you come? What place? Oh, uh, I came eighth. Eighth? Yeah. Out of 121 runners? Technically, a hundred nineteen. Okay, but I got ten seconds and t ten seconds. Ten seconds to run two k. <laughs> two and a half. Mm -hmm. Um, I did ten minutes and eight seconds. Ten minutes and eight seconds. And the fastest person on that day, um, did it exactly nine minutes. Yeah. So you did really well for your first try at it yeah. at this age, didn't you? Yeah. You came second in your age group. Yeah, my friend came first. Yeah. In, so, in the age group. Yeah, so it was great. Yeah. And then this afternoon, we've been to a memorial for my uncle. So my uncle died at the very beginning of COVID. He was living in a nursing home. He had a fall. He ended up having to go to hospital and unfortunately died um, fairly soon after that. So that was two years ago this week. So we've had a memorial because we couldn't have a proper funeral and everything for him. And he was 92 and a real kind of figure and character in the village that he'd lived in his whole life and so lots of village people came together and relatives and it was nice to see some people I hadn't seen since my childhood and to spend a bit of time with some family as well so we did that this afternoon and then we left the gammon in the crock pot so when we got home it was just time to put everything else together so we've got some roasty potatoes there moving along the counter we've got some Yorkshire puddings some gravy Here's the gammon. I let it cook in the crock pot with a can of fizzy drink over it. I can't remember what I used, can of Fanta, I think. 
um, today and then when we got home I just took it out popped it in the oven with a little bit of honey and maple syrup over it and let it just crisp up around the edges uh, so that is the gammon and then in the steamer we've got some broccoli and carrots to go with it so quickly put together once we got home crock pot came in really handy today to get this done while we were out and about and off to enjoy this and then get ready for another work and school week Hi everybody so it's monday night and we're starting the work week with barbecue chicken so these are just some chicken thighs i've seasoned up with some barbecue seasoning and then cooked them in the oven and then added a little bit of barbecue sauce towards the end of the cooking time um we're having that with some new potatoes or baby potatoes that i've just buttered lightly we've got some salad cucumber tomato lettuce some pickles over there and then for Caleb's cooking for school this week, he had to make a mac and cheese with a really strange method that I've never made before, which was to boil the pasta in the milk and then stir in the cheese and seasonings afterwards. I've never made it like that way before. So he's just made this tonight because he needed to upload a photograph of it and send it to his teacher. So this is his mac and cheese and we might have a little bit of that as it goes well with barbecue chicken meal. So off to enjoy this on a Monday night as we start another week. Hey everybody, so it's Tuesday night and tonight we've got another recipe inspired by a Gusto uh, box. So I kept the recipe card for this one. And it's Mexican pulled chicken with some seasoned fries. So I've got three, um, three chicken breasts. It was just one of the regular size packs of chicken breasts. I coated them in a mixture of cumin, oregano, salt, pepper and some dried chili flakes. Then put them in the frying pan with a little bit of oil and cooked them for kind of three or four minutes on each side until they were nicely browned. Then I took a couple of good squirts of tomato puree or tomato paste and poured about 300 mils of boiling water over it to make like a tomato stock. Poured that over the chicken, popped the lid on and let the whole thing cook for about 20 minutes. Uh, once it was cooked, I shredded up the chicken, put it back into the sauce. I put a bit of grated cheese over the top, popped the lid back on the pan and just let the cheese melt. And so that is the pulled chicken. You can see it's quite saucy. Um, could have used a little bit less stock, but that's OK. We can just drain it as we use it. I'm going to have it on toasted ciabatta buns. And then I've made some seasoned fries. Caleb's portion is already gone. That's why there's a big hole in the middle. But I just made them in the oven for a change. I've been using the active fryer for chips for years. And so I just decided to make some in the oven. And they're just seasoned with some salt and a little bit of smoked paprika. Um, a little bit of vegetable oil on them. And then just cooked up in the oven. So a bit of a burgery sort of night. I've got some salad um, to have on the side. And um, if you saw my grocery haul, you will see that I picked up these little sugar bell tomatoes oh my goodness they are so tasty really sweet little tasty bites of tomato so i um, going to have some of those and some lettuce on the side with mine um, a little bit of mayo and probably some lettuce in the ciabatta as well so that is our tuesday night mexican pulled chicken sandwiches with seasoned fries hey everybody so it's wednesday night and tonight we're having pork steak so these have just been seasoned with some of the barbecue rub and then I cooked them in the skillet and I put half in at a time and then kept the others warm in the oven while the ones in the skillet were cooking. So just pork steaks, quick and simple tonight. I've got some cheat smashed potatoes I had to pop into Asda on my way home. Caleb's got cooking class tomorrow and he needed a couple of ingredients items for that. So I stopped to pick those up and decided to just grab some cheat smashed potatoes while I was at it. We've got some gravy and we've got some tender stem broccoli and carrots. So quite a basic meat and potatoes sort of dinner tonight. Pork steaks, mashed potatoes and vegetables. Hi everybody, so it's Thursday night, nearly the weekend again. And I'm really liking how fast the weekends are coming around at the moment. I think it's just because I'm so busy at work that the days are just flying by, which is a good thing. So tonight we've got stir fry. I've got black bean chicken stir fry. So this is just some chicken thighs, which I chopped up chicken thigh fillets, chopped them up, cooked them with a bit of soy sauce in a pan until they were nicely cooked through. And then I added in some ginger and garlic, 
a package of stir fry vegetable or well, actually after the ginger and garlic i sprinkled in a couple of tablespoons of corn flour and then i mixed up some um black bean stir fry mix uh with some boiling water a little bit of boiling water um to give it more volume and then i put a little bit of rice wine in there too and some dried chili flakes and a teaspoon of sugar um just poured that in let it come together with the corn flour that i'd stirred through and then added a bag of stir fry vegetables pop the lid on and let it all kick to cook together for about 10 minutes so the vegetables were nice and soft and chicken and everything is cooked through and we're just having that with some basmati rice which is in the pan there and we'll have some prawn crackers on the side so a quick and simple stir fry for a thursday night hi everybody so it's friday night yay it's the weekend again um we have made it through to friday this week i think without any disasters <laughs> so the last few weeks seem to have been disaster ridden um tony has injured his knee and not really sure how he did it or what he's done but um he's in a bit of pain but really no major catastrophes this week so quite thankful to be going into the weekend um I'm a little bit more stable than we have the last couple of weeks so tonight's curry night we've got um, the chinese chicken curry now this is very similar to the mayflower one we've got peppers onions peas and mushrooms in there with the chicken but i didn't have any of the mayflower powder and a couple of weeks ago i had bought this and then i can't remember why we didn't make it For some reason we <laughs> didn't make some catastrophe we didn't make it um and it's the coleman's big night in chinese chicken curry so it's very similar to the Mayflower smells like that um, taste is very similar so I think we'll enjoy this because we do like the Mayflower curry. I've just got a pot of rice there to have with it and we've got some mini naan breads on the side there. So it's our Friday night curry night. Thank you for joining us for this week of meals and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon. <laughs> 